What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Ode to Heroes. And I heard you guys, I know, a lot of you guys said you want to see some gameplay. You're going to see it today, Among with some summons. So, uh, special event, let's shoot our little arrow, got nothing great, awesome. <laughs> but yeah, we, we're having fun with this. We did decide we are going to be like a low spender on this. We're not, we're not going all in, we're not going big. Uh, we're going to be doing essentially like the monthly cards, so we have like we did like the privilege card for a time. We got the growth fund. Doubt we're going to buy any of the like weekly sales. If anything, maybe, maybe this bottom one where we get a yin or yang hero out of it. Maybe we start building the lights army. I don't know. It's an expensive pack though. So I don't know about that. I don't know. And of course, we're going to be going through the newcomer packages. Um, These packages are like really, really, really good. And they're very inexpensive for, you know, an idle game. So let's start it off. We got something to do. We got some scrolls. And you know what we got to do? We got to do summoning, right? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a gotcha without the summoning. We have about 116 scrolls. We're about to get the guaranteed copy of the new hero as well. Li Guang. Li Guang? Man. Li Guang. This is going to be really difficult, these names, guys. It's really, really difficult. But let's jump into it. Let's see what we get. If we get anything good, ooh, we got another essentially queen copy, Gan Zheng. Oh man, you guys are gonna have to bear with me with these. But um, the one thing I have noticed is the five star pull rate has been pretty good overall. All right, we got a new hero. Nice. Oh, we got a oh, we got the new hero. We got the new one. We got a double pull, triple pull. Oh my goodness, we got a Yang hero as well, Mosey. All right. So usually, what I do when we get a newer hero, I'll try to make sure I click in immediately, grab the extra bonuses because yes, there's some info, there's some free resources you get. They got some cool artwork in here too of the heroes, so that's nice um but you unlock those once you get them again we got one of the yang heroes this is essentially the dark heroes in this game now, i'm not sure which one this is here let's let's take a look uh deals attack damage against four random enemies and has a chance to stun uh has a chance to stun there too i don't know who I don't, this might be original hero trigger one hp drops below 30 percent for the first time during battle sacrifice self 50 percent armor for attack wow uh okay cool hero not too bad we got a triple pull i'll take it that that's something i'm good with although watch now now we're gonna go like two to three pulls without getting a single hero right <laughs> we're not gonna get a single copy yeah that's how it always works right you go from like extreme high luck to extreme low rolls all right all right we got a new guan yu uh i think we've already gotten him before so we should be good there one really cool thing about this game, guys, is uh, you know how hard it is to build light and dark heroes and idle heroes? Well, yin and yang heroes are a lot easier to build in this game. Ooh, another new hero. Nice. Earth. All right. All right. Uh, because you can just use any old six stars. It doesn't matter. Oh, we already actually had her. Never mind. Uh, you don't need light and dark six stars, yin and yang six stars. You can use six stars from any faction, which is a really, really cool feature. We got three more pulls left. I'm surprised we haven't filled the bag yet. Huang, okay, all right, all right, not bad. Another five star, we gotta get that biography. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff to claim on hers. So yeah, as you unlock things during the game, you can progress to the different chapters in their story for different things, but um, yeah, all right, pretty cool. Let's see what else we got. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, so Sun Shi Shang Zhang. Sun. We're just going to go with Sun. So she's essentially Cruz. Oh, we got another pull. All right, all right. I don't know who she is. A triple pull again. A double pull of her. Oh, my goodness. But this is the first copy we have. She is going to be really good because, like I said, this hero right here is essentially Cruz heals. This last one here, when they drop below 50% HP, has a chance to stun all enemies. Not bad. Um, I think we've already had her, right? Yeah, she's nothing special, I don't think. We'll have to see. We're going to have to look at the tier list. We're going to have to see what is useful. Because, again, you don't want to waste good heroes. Uh, all right, we got another Guang Yang. And let's do the single summons. Let's see if we get anything else from the last couple. Got five to go. 
And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start saving all of our, uh, what are they called here again? What are they called? Nope, nope, don't purchase. <laughs> I forget the name of them. Oh, I forget, they're gems. We're just gonna go with gems for now. Gems is gonna be the easy thing to say. It's gems in every game, so might as well. Last one, anything good, anything good? Ah, oh, all right. Well, we did get a couple qual or triple pulls, which was nice. Uh, we do have some friendship summons as well. Anything? Oh, we didn't hit anything. Do a couple single summons. One star, that's garbage. Get out of here. And one star. All right. Well, overall, I felt like that was a pretty good summoning. Let's, uh, quick place. Okay, yep. Very similar to Idle Heroes here as well. So here's one of the coolest features they have in the game, guys. So you guys know how annoying it is to use the creation circle. Well, this has quick promotion where, well, guess what? It's going to do all of it for you. It's going to promote all of your four stars up to five stars. Nice and easy. So what do we have in yin? Nothing, nothing amazing, I don't think. These are essentially... The fodder heroes that have three skills. We do have um, Zhang Yu, which is essentially Asmodel. On the dark side here, we have, I think, like, one good hero. That's that Mosey we got. The other ones are purely food. We do have some five stars to pull out, so let's see who we can get. Ooh, new hero. All right, new hero. Oh, double of the new hero. Okay. And then let's summon you out as well. So we got another five star. Good, good, good looking good let's jump into these heroes make sure we claim all of our loot too and plus you know red dots we all hate red dots right red dots are the worst thing in games you gotta clear them all right oh we got a lot of loot here a lot of stuff here so another thing that they have in this game that is very similar to like an afk arena style game uh i think that was everything let's make sure we get achievements done i'm sure we got a ton of achievements ton of those what are they called now jade shells there we go uh, but in your backpack, you'll notice you have items like this that actually give you hours worth of experience, gold, all this other stuff. So that's pretty cool. I don't know who we're going to pull out from here. I'm thinking we just grab him. This 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 hero right here is essentially scary. You know, there's a special place in my heart for scary. Um, Four-star fragments. We might as well summon them out too, even if it's just one, and see if there's any promotion. Nope. Okay. So, summonings are done. Let's grab the event loot because, of course, there is an active event. We get another copy of the hero, which is good. We get a ton of resources. Uh, that is good. Let's go to the target range, a special event. Let's use our arrow, see what we get. We get some guild tech, essentially. Get some PvP tickets. I think those are PvP tickets. Yeah, PvP tickets. Oh, come on. Give me give me that middle target. We did get five profit orbs or sage. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, we got some four stars. We hit the middle. Come on, man. Oh, we completely missed on the last one. That felt bad. <laughs> Complete whiff. We did start a guild, Barry's Whale. So I think uh, Wilbur is running it. If you want the ID for the guild number, it's right there if you guys want to apply. Again, we're on Android server 119. So... Let's do something real quick. Let's see if we can do any type of progression. We're going to go over to tower and see if we can finally beat this wave we've been stuck on. Wait, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to go to our destiny tree, which is pretty much guild tech. And we're going to invest a little bit more in these nodes here. Get a little bit stronger. Go to the pet. Can we do anything else with the pet? Yes, we can do a lot with the pet. So we can quick upgrade, get it up to level 45. Nice. That's going to give us more stats. All right, now let's go back in the tower and see how we can progress here. So we're just using mainly our queen, so to speak, this hero here. Uh, you'll notice in combat, it, it, it's 100% queen. Just 100% queen. Uh, the counterattacks, the big AoE attack, everything reducing crit chance. Uh, but this is what the combat looks like. So very, very, very similar to what Idle Heroes is like. Um, I like it. Uh, this is my style of game. Uh, the one thing AFK Arena kind of threw me for a loop that I didn't like is that weird active combat system. I really like turn-based combat. I don't know why. I just really, really do. But again, there are aura bonuses in the game on top of it. So it's, it's more or less the old school aura system that Idle Heroes had. It's not like the new system. So a couple features you have is that 
you can also go through here skip battle if you win the battle just like in idle heroes you can just smash away and get through as many levels in tower as you want um it doesn't quite work the same in whatchamacallit it doesn't work quite the same in campaign you can't just smash but it is it does have a skip feature wow those upgrades just made a big difference and these right here these do drops that's going to give you more guild tech so to speak that you guys are used to we're getting gear we're getting a lot of stuff so this is pretty good we might save some of this for actual gameplay too so we're going to work our way up the tower make sure when you guys start to you when you unlock the hall of fame back here that you jump in and grab all the resources all the gems from the rewards you're going to get tons of guild tech type stuff you're also going to be able to get where is it i think it's sky tower is where all the gems come from yeah tons of these jade shells by completed floors so that is really good make sure you're doing the newcomer weeks too make sure you're doing all these you're going to get a bunch of scrolls here Ooh, we finished something oh we got some relics these right here these azure horns are glorious relics the feathers from our game i think we got almost everything done we got to get got to get our destiny tree a little bit higher and the bonus package 600 you know what we'll do it we'll buy out all these newcomer packages no matter what they are all right what? oh we got a bonus up here nice nice all right hold on hold on we got a couple more things to do we're not done with summoning just yet let's finish those recruits we got another 10 bomb right here come on give us another one of the hero come on Oh, I really want to get more copies. It does take nine copies, just like uh, in Idle Heroes, to make a full E5 hero. The big difference is E3 requires a hero copy, but 10 star only requires one hero copy instead of two to promote them. So, not bad. Who, who, who we got? Who we got? Oh, we got more biography unlocked for you. Give me these. These guys right here, the Golden Spirit Slips, those are essentially super wishing coins not too bad not too bad uh okay i think we're at a good stopping point i think we're at a good stopping point uh overall this is a i'm, I'm having a ton of fun with this game guys like a ton of fun hopefully if you guys enjoy idle heroes you're going to enjoy ode to hero so we're gonna have to figure out what hero we're gonna level up next probably one hero like uh i don't want to i don't want to upgrade any hero that is potentially going to be good but we do have a lot of heroes that we can make up to six star, which is good because I really, really want to build this hero right here. Li Guang is supposedly very strong and we should have actually hold on. We should have more copies, shouldn't we? Uh, heroes, maybe in fragments. Ah, there he is. There's that second copy right there. There we go. Yeah, I was like, I know we have two copies somewhere, right? We got another summon here, another five star. All right, we got another one of you. Give me some more four stars. Good, good, good. Uh, anything quick promote? Yes, there is now. Let's quick promote that. Get more food going. Okay, so yeah, I think the project is going to be this new hero, hopefully. Um, the one downside is we only have two copies. If we can get a couple more from the event summons, that would be nice. And how many profit orbs are we up to? These... uh sage decrees we're up to almost 40 which does mean we'll be able to probably do one loop of the profit orb event coming up soon i believe it said we were going to have it next week there is an event preview here yeah sage goal i think the sage academy perform sage summons i'm pretty sure that's what it is uh recruitment prizes if we can so that's one thing to note too for summoning events guys there's only one copy one loop for heroes very much like idle heroes used to be with a small repeatable one as far as getting relics and event currency but there's something else cool <coughs> excuse me recruitment gifts so when you summon the hero a certain number of times you can get rewards pretty cool the nice advantage is you're guaranteed a copy every 200 instead of 500 like idle heroes so if you have the scrolls, it can actually be a little easier and more beneficial in the game. So that is cool. Uh, you got the friendship tree too, which is essentially like the uh, the same thing we got in Idle Heroes. Everything is the same is what I'm trying to say. If you enjoy Idle Heroes, try Ode Heroes. Hit that subscribe button and wait for more content. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Definitely look forward to a ton of Ode to Heroes coming up. And I'll see you guys next time.